on those blueberry bacterial pancakes I told you about the other day? Well, turns out they're not so blue anymore, at least not around the bacteria. And you also see that clear zone, that like halo. These aren't actually blueberry pancakes, but I normally think of kind of bacterial agar plates, just like your typical media plates. Ah, that's just a filter paper. Um, I typically think of these as kind of like bacterial pancakes. They're bacteria food and they look kind of like pancakes and they smell really good to make. What these are, why they're blue, that's actually a dye. That's the um, bromocrystal green dye. And so basically it just is a pH indicator. And what is really special about them is this peak of sky is agar. Basically, if you look at what's inside of it, it's got calcium phosphate. That's got phosphate that's in this like inaccessible form. Similar to the inaccessible form of phosphate that you find in like soil. And so one of the reasons why so much fertilizer, like phosphate fertilizer has to be used is because when that phosphate gets into the soil, then like metals in the soil kind of like clamp onto it and hide it. And so it's not actually useful for the plants and for the little buggers that live in it. But some little buggers that live in it, some bacteria say, can solubilize that phosphate. So these are like phosphate solubilizing microbes or PSMs. And we want to see whether the bacteria that we are interested in are actually able to do that because, well, if they can do that, they can free up the phosphate in the soil for themselves as well as for the plants and things around them, which makes them really, really useful. And so we see that you get that clearing zone around here. So the cloudiness is from that calcium phosphate, that like inaccessible inorganic phosphate. But then the bacteria, they secrete organic acids. And when they secrete those acids, then those acids acidify the media. And so the media turns a different color. It turns that yellowish and it clears up that zone around the bacteria. So the pH indicator kind of like helps you see that zone, but it's really that clearing of the zone that you actually see that's that really, really important thing because that means that they're solubilizing that phosphate. They're making it accessible. And what's really cool is that this was kind of like a bonus that we wanted to test out because what we really care about with these bacteria is like their ability to like bioremediate metals. So kind of remove metals from the environment. And we're really, we're focusing on chromium, but we also did some testing on lead and we're gonna test out some other metals because the idea is that you would take these bacteria and you would stick them in these contaminated soils. The bacteria would able, be able to kind of take away the metal from the soil, which typically you have to do with like these chemical and physical methods that themselves are very polluted and energy intensive and so typically these like waste soils like where the abandoned mines and that sort of stuff the soil just goes sits there for ages and ages and ages because nothing can live there nothing can happen there but some bacteria can actually live there and well the bacteria can actually remove the metals and some bacteria can actually remove the metals and phosphate solubilize the phosphate and so this way they can actually promote the plant growth at the same time while they're like detoxing the environment. So these have huge like bioremediation potential. So we're trying to figure out what's happening in these bacteria as they do this. How is their meta metabolism adapting? So those organic acids say, let's go and let's measure them. Let's measure the metabolites. Let's measure the enzymes inside those. How active are the different enzymes of the like tricarboxylic acid pathway? Let's look at these enzymes both in the context of the bacteria under different conditions. So we are like in vivo conditions and in vitro. So we're purifying, expressing and purifying maladehydrogenase from these guys. We're gonna do some genome sequencing. Um, so really, really exciting times in the B-Bell lab. And I'm I am just so happy to be working with Rory and Nicholas this summer. They're doing amazing work and I'm so grateful to them and grateful for St. Mary's Summer Research Program for this opportunity and it's going to be a blast.